most people in life are, well, living. And that usually is pretty normal to people who are living. So if I sound a little facetious or a little bit ironic, that's my right. You see, irony didn't exactly go out in the 80s, but it certainly hasn't been around in the 90s. You see, people don't get the stupidity of their lives sometimes. There are people who have been told, you're not welcome in my life anymore. And they've been told verbally, they've been told in writing, and they've been told in a way that makes sense to the relationship. When I talk about this, I know something about this because I have had two people who pretended to be my family and friends and then turned around and screwed my life to the end. Now, why did they do that? Because they didn't want to play anymore or because they didn't want to say anymore or because they were afraid of how they were feeling. That if they were feeling this way, then it made them some certain way. Now, we can talk about that all day long, but that's not what this video cast and audio cast are about. I am basically a latent reporter. I have been in marketing for most of my adult years. I have produced a life in a language school. I have had quite the long life, is true. I've worked in a lot of places, is not true. I chose an entrepreneurial life. And the problem with people in my family set is that they have never been an entrepreneurial with any success. I had one sibling that was pretty good at entrepreneurism, but she never quite got the full fullness of that. Most of her earnings went back into the business, and my father was sort of sad about that. But the truth is that several of them have been through bouts of cancer. So when they went through cancer, we simply were loving and supportive. We made sure they ate if they were tired. We made sure we drove for them if they were expired. And we didn't do anything to harm their life. But I have other people who are part of a lineage who like to harm life. They are so passive aggressive in their ways that they don't know how to handle their own days. And it makes me wonder, go, gosh, are you actually working right now while you're busy spewing all this hatred at me right now? Because openly what you've been doing is lying to yourself about your rights. When you betrayed me, when you lied about me, when you stole from me, when you cheated me out of my property and loving things from my actual family, my spouse, my child, you ruined your rights with me. So I beg your pardon, please, but don't keep trying to throw threats at me. Don't keep trying to play passive aggressivity with me as if I've somehow harmed your life. You harmed your own life when you committed fraud. You harmed your own life when you lied about who you were to my life. I had a spouse and a son. You were not a part of my life pretty much at all during those time periods of roughly 20 plus years. I don't owe you an explanation for anything I choose for my life. And I don't owe you any explanation about where I'm working, where I'm going, who I'm going to stay with, where I'm going to live. I don't owe you a thing. There are plenty of dysfunctional families in the world, but you chose to attack a life. You chose to rise up in siblings of four and destroy a life. You destroyed a loving family. You destroyed a loving legacy. You destroyed my own spouse's mother's understanding of life. Not at all. You destroyed your own mother's understanding of true life. True life is lived in liberty between the lines of the law of American civility. An American civic law is, and common law is what we all know. The fact is a person's birth certificate belongs to the individual. It doesn't belong to someone who wants to claim that they know something about a person's individual. You see, that's the ridiculousness of these people. That they think that because they knew something or they saw something or they experienced something that they have rights to comment. You don't. You've not earned your right. You've lost your rights. And in terms of my marriage certificates, in terms of my spousal cert responsibilities, you are not a part of any of that financial requirements on me as a, of, as a husband or as a father to do one fucking thing for me. And when my business went through a little struggle, you were not a part of the negotiations with my late father who always believed that the bank of dad was better than anyone else we could have had. So let's be clear about your rights. Your rights begin and end with you, your husband, your civil children, if they're actually civil, and if they're actually over 21, they're no longer your children underneath the law. And they are legally liable for their own birth certificates, their own things, their own representation. You have no lawful representation and you cannot claim lawful representation of any other individual. You are liable to your spouse. You are liable to your children. Your children might be your legal heirs. They might be your legal legacy. They might be the ones who are unawares of what their liabilities are should you pass and go to your own demise. 
but in my life my every single record of me belongs to me and in your life every single record of you belongs to you but if you're fucking around on my computer if you're thinking you've got rights to do things in my property bags you have lied to you you see everything i own was purchased by me with loving working hands of my life every single item no matter where it was purchased whether it was a high flutin shop in japan or whether it was a simple secondary shop in america was up to me any gift i received when i lived overseas was gifted to me not you anything i owned in antiques and crafts and other things for my business do not belong to you they belong to me and if you don't believe that then let's talk about you because i could walk into your house and claim all the same shit on you that you're trying to put on me and it just won't fly with you will it because your husband will step in your spouse will step in your children will chime in as if they have rights to my life but i have no right to respond to the lies on their lives you see the lies on their lives was believing they had rights to someone else the lies on their lives was believing that they had the right to know information of medical rights which was not their legal right to know there is a lie in families all the time there's always that black sheep there's always that guy there's always that girl that creates according to the rest of the family drama but it's really the family that's creating drama it's really the family that's creating codependency it's really the family that's got passive aggressivity and if you don't know what those actual psychological terms are by please god pick up a fucking book and read it for you